Welcome back to Vayne and Taylor. We're going to be playing Serious Guns. In today's video, we're going to be expanding our Koreatown and um, also our wall to wall commercial area. But I first started by moving our temporary power plants over. I do need to get a permanent solution worked on for those, but these are our solution for now. And so I just moved all that stuff over to our industrial area. It doesn't really matter. They're just temporary, but I first started off over here with putting in or expanding our roads going parallel to our tracks, but I, I think this might stop fairly soon. But um, I work more on this in the next episode, but I just decorate up this area near our like parking lot for our university. And um, I bring it all the way down to our train station that I put in the very beginning and I just never really did anything with. But I brought it all the way down to here and um, we do more of, of on this in the next episode. But um. I just finish up this area by just putting connections to this road that's now been obviously expanded over here and then just decorating up this open space with trees. Then for one of the big parts of our episode, um, I expanded our Koreatown. Uh, I just put in two more blocks and added in a couple more in this area going up to our new main road that we put in um, in the last episode, I believe. And um, it's just for the highway off ramp, this main road. And um, so I put that in. And then um, I just added in stop, light, or stop, lights, stop signs over in our parking lot area there. Just because I did that all throughout the university. So I figured might as well do it there too. And then um, give these people services. So this way obviously they can survive and zone them as part of our Korea town zone and so this way they get the heart of Korea um the building type and then I just um gave us some um bus stops over here and um this is obviously quite helpful for our people to get around the city and then I also continued with our expansion by adding more buildings over here but spoiler alert I do end up changing this to parks because I don't really like how it looks once the buildings are all grown in but um, I just put in the roads and I zone everything in. And obviously we do need some parking lots, so I do work on them. Um, but I'll talk a bit more about that in a little bit. But I also came over here just to fill in this block here. And so I just put in commercial here and a dog park. Park, sorry. Um, simple stuff. Um, I did also make sure that the roads wouldn't um, interfere with our intersection here just in this way we could keep traffic moving and that this way people weren't getting backed up in our city. And then over here, I did just want to make this concrete, just to continue our completely concrete blocks that have been for the past three blocks, or at least the last two. I honestly forget, but I made this mostly concrete. I put in a bit of commercial over here and also a bit of parking. Um, as I was saying, we always need parking, especially because we're making an American-inspired city. And in America, we're very car dependent. So um, we, we're stuck with that, and then in these spots that I did make earlier with our commercial buildings, just added in pathways to get throughout the streets, and then also added in a little bit of parking for our people to obviously park. And then um, I also added in um, just some concrete little blocks here to, in just very odd spaces that I can't really fit any buildings in. And then I also added in more parking for our people, because obviously parking, car dependency, all of the all the such and then I added in services and I also continued adding in a bit more parking and made sure that the parking lots all look nice.
And then continuing with our expansion, while this isn't a part of our Koreatown area, um, this is our wall-to-wall -wall buildings. This was the second major part of the expansion that I did in this video. I did add in a bus line here, which is I did change around quite a bit in our next episode, but this um, bus line, I just pretty much brought it out to our university parking lot, and then just straight shot back, just basically a loop up and down this main road here, which does get changed around a bit in the next episode, as I said, but it um, will be like this for now, at least. And um, then I continue with our, um, with, obviously, because we're getting quite a bit of congestion at that bus depot. So um, I did want to add in our bus depot, and I'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. But we um, obviously need to expand with some more roads, and so um, I just want to put in the blocks here. And these I'll put commercial on, and also a bit of residential, but mostly commercial. And um, I just wanted to put in a warehouse here, just so this way, just to split up it and give something a bit unique to this area that I haven't done, at least in this area of the um, city. And so it just gives that unique feel to this and that not everything's just copy and paste and um just add, add in a weird intersection there just because the game wanted to be weird there but that ended up getting put in added in parking for our warehouse and then i'll um, clean it up a bit with the concrete aprons and then i'm um, just messed around for bus line a bit and then as i was saying with the bus depot that one's quite congested, so I decided to come over here and put in a second bus depot. This is the one that came with the base game, which I really like this one, and I honestly think it really looks really good. But just to expand on it, because obviously we need a place to store buses when they're not in use, I just added in a whole load of parking in here, and this would be able to store um, cars for our employees and the bus drivers, and then also just for out-of-service buses. And then most likely they would have a big servicing center for most of the city, or at least a couple of them for the city. Um, but those we'll do probably later on. Those would probably also be an industrial area. And then I also added in some residential for obviously more people. So this way we can get people uh, moving in. Uh, more jobs um, can be filled at our commercial that we just put in. And also then we can just help our economy keep rolling. But as I said earlier in the video, very early actually. I didn't really like the look of these buildings here, so I just decided to turn into a little park space because I didn't like the, how they were over covering up our big building here in the Koreatown area. So I just wanted to get rid of them, and I did, and I just put in park, parks here just so this way it's flat, and it just helps highlight this building here a whole lot more. Filled in with trees, just made it look all nice and pretty. This would have probably been built by the city, or not the city, but the building owner, but... That'll be it for this video. Do hope you enjoyed it. Have a like and subscribe. And do hope to see you next one. Bye!